Well, let's talk about how to multiply two numbers near 100 but under 100. These two numbers should be something like 98 and 96. They should be in the 90s or in the high 80s. The first step is to subtract both of these numbers from 100. 100 minus 98 is 2, and 100 minus 96 is 4. You have to multiply these two, and you'll get 8. The answer that you get will be the last two digits of the final answer. However, 8 is just one digit, so we need to put a 0 and an 8. Then, we take either one, the 2 or the 4, and we subtract it from the opposite number. So, we do 98 minus 4, or we can do 96 minus 2. The answer is the same. This number will go over here. And so this is our final answer. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have 87 times 91. The process is still the same. We will subtract each of these numbers from 100. 100 minus 87 is 13, and 100 minus 91 is 9. Multiplying these two will give us 117. The answer will be the last two digits of our final answer. However, this is three digits. So we will just take the 17 and we will carry the 1. The next step is to subtract either of these from the opposite number. So 91 minus 13 or 87 minus 9. They give us the same answer, which is 78. Then you add the carried 1 to either of them, giving you 79. So our final answer is 79.17. Let's look at 94 times 92. Again, we have to subtract each of these from 100. 100 minus 94 is 6, and 100 minus 92 is 8. 6 times 8 is 48. This will be the last two digits of our answer. Then we have to do 92 minus 6 or 94 minus 8. It will give us the same answer, 86. Again, this number will go here. This is our final answer. Let's look at one final example. 89 times 93. Pause the video and try this yourself. This problem may look trickier, but we use the same process. We have to subtract each of these numbers from 100. 100 minus 89 is 11, and 100 minus 93 is 7. Multiply these two, and you get 77. So our final answers, the last two digits will be 77. Then we subtract 11 from 93, or 7 from 89. The answer will be the same, 82. 82 will go here, and this is our final answer. To do this in your head can be a little tricky, so this requires a lot of practice. I have linked a practice worksheet and its answers in the description. Make sure to go check that out.